Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Today I am going to do a tutorial on wood grain soap for melt and pour. Um, these are some pictures I pulled off Instagram of cold process soap, but I wanted to try the technique with melt and pour soap to see if we could achieve a similar thing. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some of the colors that I'm using today. Um, I'm choosing browns and a green. Um, I thought that would be nice to make a nice earthy wood grain soap and I'm also just melting down about an ounce to an ounce and a half each layer that I'm pouring and I'm just keeping these layers really thin and um, letting them set up for about a minute or two before I pour the next layer and I don't really care so much that the layers are even or they spread all the way across the mold I'm just kind of trying to put down some thin layers and don't worry we're not going to fill this whole mold up that way I'm just using this to get the um, soap base started. So I did that process a few times with a few different molds and once they were ready I just popped them out. I waited till the soap was dry um, and it wasn't going to break through and then I just kind of popped it out of the mold and I wanted to make sure it was still pliable so I don't think I waited more than 10 to 15 minutes before I pulled it out of the mold and as you can see it's still pretty bendy for this next part I'm just going to be using my a uh, one pound mold since this is somewhat of an experiment and I wanted to see how it would look before I do larger batches. I'm just cutting down this um, piece that I went ahead and made and I am going to slide them in there and make sure that they are the right size for the one pound mold. I'm just going to kind of line them up. I also wanted to do like a knot with the soap so it looks like wood grain. So I'm going to make a wood knot for one of these just to see how it looks and how it turns out. So I just kind of rolled this up and then I um, scored it a little bit and I spritzed it with alcohol so it would try to stay together and then I let it sit um, while I was cutting down all the other pieces. I just wanted to show you the sides and this is kind of what the wood grain would start to look like. The more layering up you do, probably the better this will turn out. So that's totally up to you and how you want to put the soap together. Um, at this point I just kind of, like I said, cut everything down to the size of my soap mold and then I started placing the pieces into the soap mold vertically and then letting each layer sit. So I started off with the tiniest scraps because they were just leftover pieces when I cut the other pieces down to size and I wanted to make sure I was utilizing as much as I could for the wood grain soap itself. And I also did not fragrance any of these little embed pieces. I only fragranced the actual base that I'm pouring in for the soap itself. And in between each pour on these I am spritzing everything down with a lot of rubbing alcohol because I just want to make sure it sticks throughout the process. After I poured down the first little layer, which is about three ounces, I went ahead and kind of wiggled around the pieces that were already placed in there, and it kind of broke through the layer, but it was okay because I just needed it heavy enough on the top layer to have like a little bit of skin so that little knot would float on the soap that was already there. So that way we could have a knot in the center and I didn't want it sitting at the bottom of the soap. So I just kept repeating the process of melting down more soap, letting the soap sit up for a little bit, and then adding more 
soap in as I went along because I didn't want all the pieces to be in the same spot. I was trying to go for a rustic wood grain look that looks somewhat real or similar to the cold process soaps that you guys see on Pinterest, YouTube, or Instagram. So after the soap had set up for about four hours, I went ahead and I unmolded what I had. It's really easy to unmold and then I just went ahead and cut it. Um, it wasn't quite as what I expected. I think if I do this again, I would definitely do more layers in the first steps where you kind of just layer up the soap in the long skinny mold or on a tray or something and then add more pieces like that because I think the more pieces you have of that, the better the soap will turn out and it will actually look like wood grain. Um, but you just have to keep a balance in between what is actual melt and pour embeds versus what is the actual base that you're kind of combining everything together. I think it would be hard if you had too many pieces and then you wouldn't have enough of the um, soap to kind of adhere all the other little pieces together. Thank you everyone for watching today. If you like this soap tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so I can make more melt and pour soap tutorials.